If you want to entertain in style with, well, technically an entry-level RV, 30 feet, six inches long, roughly 6,100 pounds dry, can still sleep five to six, entry-level is the key, but feature-packed, you're gonna love the bang for your buck, Pioneer RL250. We are stepping up the game for 2021, said Heartland Pioneer. What's up, it's Chris Young. Seated in the rear living portion of this RL250, new for 2021. Lots of great upgraded features. They decided to take a step back to take a step forward in 2021. By taking the step back, they did a lot of redesigns for 2021. And Pioneer for the bang for your buck, I gotta tell you, man, that's gonna to be tough to beat with the features, the amenities that you get at the price point. Uh, it's entry level, but when I take a look around, there's amenities that I see in a lot of higher end RVs. For example, these Allure chairs that we have here. Now these are recliners. I don't have it kicked back because I didn't wanna pull it forward. I wanted you to see the, the, the space that we have here. Seated in front of this gorgeous panoramic window with the wood balances, cross flow and light for days when you wanna open it up. But if you want to entertain while you go camping, maybe you're an active couple. Now this thing will sleep five to six, but you really want to entertain. Maybe it's a grandparents coach. You know the kids will come join you, but you want the space and comfort to be able to do whatever you want to do. This is a good little feature. You got plenty of space back here. They got the new upgraded linoleum floors. Carpet free as well. They've gone with a woven inside the slide, which not only helps with look, but also helps with cleanliness. Uh, I'm a fan of that. I like that touch. I used to be a fan of carpet, but seeing what they're doing now, I dig it. And the Allure furniture being an upgraded plush experience, it's a very comfortable microfiber. Get the cross breeze going at night, maybe at the beach or the lake. Open those windows up, and this is going to be a good place to sleep. Got high ceilings in here, too. Got five foot nine on the slide here, 80 inches here. Um, They've upgraded a lot of the amenities for the designs as well. You don't see just the, the bland wood cabinetry or the bland wood cabinets. Uh, here we have inlays, decorative inlays. They're beveled. I don't know if you can see that in, you know, inside the, uh, the video there, but you got the graphite style fixtures on my storage here. I like the little inlay there. It just looks good. They didn't have to do it, but you know, they just know it looks good. Got my little end table right there. There is power on both sides there. So if you need to do some charging, you can. My entry door and the master chef kitchen. I like that, or excuse me, the upgraded camp kitchen. This is a solid surface countertop. Hopefully you can see the sheen on that. Beautiful, easy to clean, plus it acts as a good cutting surface. I got my undermounted stainless steel 50-50 sink, high rise faucet, would like to see a sprayer, but I dig it, we're still in that entry level mode. Got my three burner cooktop, the grill style grate, and the glass cover, which doubles as more prep space when you need it. Very nice touch. Little LED accent light on my Greystone controls there, my oven. Good spot to bake the fish, the shrinky dinks, the cookies, whatever you want. If you haven't done shrinky dinks when you go camping and it starts raining, good activity for the kids. Get them to draw something, cook the shrinky dink. You got yourself the best keychain you will ever buy, hands down. I've broken my kids like seven times now, mainly because I want them to keep making them. And it keeps them quiet. Full extension, ball bearing drives here, solid wood construction on the drawers too. And look, they even took the time to finish them off. So even the inside of the drawers are decorative and they look good. Got my little LP02 detector down there. My slide control right here. Battery fresh, black and gray. Let's see, when the slide comes in, obviously you have to have the chairs pushed all the way in. But I do believe when the slide is in, this one should be turtle friendly. So you can access the fridge and the bathroom uh, right here. Wait a minute, let me get to the fridge first, by the way. This is the Dometic fridge freezer combo. Runs on both gas and electric with the automatic switch. Oh, hey, that's nice. They left us some water in here. There you go, Bobby. I have a water for you there, buddy. Pardon me while you peruse this 10 cubic foot, or excuse me, eight cubic foot I'm going to take a sip of my water, set that back. But much like their sister brand, the Mallard, they have the doodle station on here as well. So if you have crayons, if you have chalk, <laughs> you probably do crayons too. You can draw on here, leave notes, 
you know, hey, pick up drinks from the campsite, you know, need more firewood, gone to the store, gone fishing, whatever. It's also an activity that the kids could do while they're hanging out. Super slide over here on the off camp side, more of those large panoramic windows, plush allure furniture here with my jackknife sofa. Got my fold down for my cups. Once again, I'm entertaining. So if the coach owners are over there in their recliners, we're hanging out talking about the fishing trip, the hunting trip, the bike trip, whatever. You can sit here, reconnect with the loved ones. You got a spot for your drink. If you got the kids with you, you got plenty of room to add more people. And it is a jackknife sofa. So there you go. Good spot to rest and Bob, I got to check these out. All right, so with the Allure furniture, you get these plush cushions. Oh, yeah. You get these plush cushions. And this fabric that these are made of is almost like a microfiber. So it, when you don't have that camp sweat syndrome when you're sleeping at night when you put the sheets on here, it's not going to be sticky. It's not slick. But this is plush and comfortable. I really like that. You could probably get two adults on there if you needed to. Um, Frosted glass over here, beautiful inside the cabinetry, has texture to it as well. Sorry, I didn't show you that before. I looked at it and it was like, oh, flush mounted graystone. Now what's unique about the RL250, with this being a rear living coach, can sleep five to six, I was expecting to have a booth dinette. Instead, we get a plush six person cedar U-shaped dinette. Which really makes me think this is designed for that active couple or that family uh, that maybe has bigger kids or you know you're going to be spending a lot of time out camping. You want something that's got the entertaining space. You know people are going to be coming and joining you or you need something to set up as a hunting cabin, a fishing cabin, a weekend getaway. You need a vacation spot to set up wherever you want to set your vacation spot. This is great. I got dual USB charging over there. I got these plush gray cushions. This reduces down into a sleeper, could easily get two adults in here. But when it's set up, look at the reconnection space that I have here. I didn't get a chance to take my family out and enjoy some vacation time. We didn't get a chance to just disconnect from everything and reconnect. And here's my chance to do it. Under some residential style lighting, almost barn style, large panoramic windows for cross flow and light. And we're camping, we're having fun. You're not really giving up any creature comforts of home when you go camping either. That's what I like. Rounded edge leading into the solid door for the bathroom. Got my plastic bowl right here with the foot flush on it. Plenty of room. I'm not cramped left to right. A little squeaky though because it is plastic. Corner mounted sink. Medicine cabinet right there. I got a little bit of the raised lips. Uh, not much of one there, but bigger lip there. GFCI outlet. More storage underneath. Got my fan powered and my vent right there. Single surround tub and shower. Now this is kind of that residential style. So you got 36 inches, uh, you know, space here. A little headroom though. Now I'm 6'2 and I'm a little cramped. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm a little cramped, but not bad. I mean, when you're camping, still not bad. Corner notches there for my soaps, my showers. Got a little bit of lip there for the tubs. So you'll probably get some splash over when you're taking a shower or if you're spraying off the kids or the animals. You know, you might get a little splash over there. Finishing off the entertainment area or the living area here with the entertainment center. I got my shelf and my back right here for my TV, cable connection. As a matter of fact, there's my HDMI cord going from my IRV Technologies Command Center, which is HDMI, Bluetooth, uh, you know, AM, FM, also has dual zone for your speakers outside. I, I like these because they're a little bit smaller than the other ones. You know, it's a little bit more compact. More storage underneath, storage up top. Sorry, Bobby, I shut that on you. I mean, usually I'm shutting the door on Bob and I'm trying to like keep him out of the places that I'm in, but he's always got this camera. He's always following me around. Get away from me, Robin. Now, <laughs> you just, four high and across the eyes, boy, better back up. All right, so here we are in the master. You got the large bed, which, let's see, is this the Sirtis? I don't know, but it's comfortable. It's like a high density foam type of feel. It feels comfortable and plush. Cubby storage space right back there on both sides. 
Got a little mini headboard, kind of like an applique there. Large light, too, for reading. Storage lip. Cubby storage that also has my power and another little light in there. I believe you got lights on both sides. Ward storage. Mirrored, of course. My TV backer set right there with cable connection, power. And, of course, you are set up for Wi-Fi 4G LTE extension. And with this being the RL250, I'm kind of blocking the view of it, but you do have double access in this RV. Another nice little feature. So if you do bring the family along or you got the kids with you, they can be asleep in there while you could still be enjoying a nighttime walk on the beach, maybe a nighttime hike up the mountains, whatever. You have your comfort, your safety of coming and going as you please without waking up everybody else in the coach. And you can do it through a solid pocket door right here. So a very nice little feature. But for 6,134 pounds, 30 feet, 9 inches, I believe, can easily sleep 5 to 6 people with some upgraded features, furniture, carpetless slide. I got the solid surface over there on my countertops. Plus, I got a 30,000 BTU furnace and a 13.5 BTU AC. It's pretty good for the price point. We've seen the inside of this beautiful RL250. What do you say we go check out the outside of the all-new 2021 Harlan Pioneer RL250? So here we are on the outside of the 2021 Harlan Pioneer RL250. Right away, when I talk about bang for the buck and the upgrades for 2021, check out the hybrid aluminum aerodynamic front profile that we have here. If you just take a look over here to the side, that's also a 2021, but that's before they did the model changes. You'll see how beautiful aerodynamic that aluminum profile is with this. Diamond plated rock guard, got that single welded aluminum frame under there, twin 20 pound LP tanks, plus you get the power pack with all new 2021 Pioneers, which includes power tongue jack, power awning, power stabilizer jacks. You'll see right here, we got the power stabilizer jacks, your extend and your retract. There they are right there. King Kong size storage. Now on some of the Pioneers, you get up to almost an additional, well, not additional, but almost 51 to 52 cubic feet of storage, which is new for 2021. For some of the, Heart, the other Heartland models like the uh, Mallard, they, they did this King Kong size storage last year. They added it to the Pioneers this year. Larger doors, taller doors, and more storage. You'll see right here, it continues all the way to the front cap. That is a lot of good space to put, you know, pretty much whatever you need. Got your beach chairs, your towels, you know, whatever. Boom, there you go. Got my plastic clip, covered hinge, so you don't get that rain, those streaks of rust going down. Power awning with the LED light strip underneath going almost the entire length of the RV. Fold up steps leading into the master bedroom there. And you'll see these graphics. I like what they did for 2021 with the graphics. They updated them, just makes it look good. Looks good going down the road, looks good set up. External speakers, sealed safety windows all the way around. Nitro filled tires here on this double axle travel trailer. Got those aluminum rims, Dexter Easy Lubes on there. Black tank flush too, easy camp package. That's a nice touch. Cable, power, fresh water connection, low point drains underneath there, solid step over steps. Going into the living area here with the extra large grab handle. Four by four sewer hose storage. And yes, for 2021, you also get the flip down rack on the back. Great for hauling those bikes, the chairs, the additional coolers, whatever you wanna put. Spare tire mounted on there as well. Arched roof with the backup camera. Like how that's going to keep the rain and the snow off of me. Cable connection right here. 30 amp plug right there. Let's see, it's a little tight under here, but you'll see, you see that single frame that they have there, the drive that we have for the slides. Oh, we'll be able to see it easier from here. Our main terminations, the gray tanks, the black tanks, sewer outlet connection are all right there at the base of the slide. External shower with hot and cold. My city water connection is right there. Other side of my pass-through storage. And of course, the most important part, the info panel. 
This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? For example, gross vehicle weight on this one is 7,600 pounds. Now dry, you're looking at 6,134. And with this one being 30 feet, nine inches long, that's where you ask your specialists at Camping World and at Gander RV and Outdoors, you say, hey, uh, this is what my vehicle can tow. Is this right for me? Because when it comes to finding you the right RV, where are you gonna take it? How many people do you need to sleep? And what are you towing with? Those are the three main things. Obviously there's a whole lot more, but those are the three main things that'll help us guide you down the path of finding the one that's right for you. But if you need a rear living RV set for entertaining, just getting out and seeing America the safest way possible, that could still sleep five to six people, you want entry level, but some upgraded features. I'll tell you man, for 2021, Pioneer stepped up the game. Tip of the hat to them. This RL250 is right down your alley. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it. Because we love hearing from you. Plus, we take those comments, we give them back to the manufacturers. That's what helps make things better each and every year. And also, while you're at it, please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope I get a chance to hear from you soon. And until then, Come check out an RV. They're fun. I'll see you soon.